Okay, I have I have uh, gotten this retuned, so it's now going to sound a little bit better. So a child can learn that song. They can turn it over. They can go to the next song. And I keep a stack of music on the shelf so that they can choose whichever song they want. There's And there's a lot of different songs. So it's nice to give them that. <clears throat> okay, so this is kind of complicated because you've got the verse and then you've got the chorus, right? So you would be singing the verse first And then here's the chorus. So did you notice when there's four dots in a row, I just play the same note, four in a row. One, two, three, four, and then this note, and then this note, and then the end. Okay. I'll do another one. Here's a very popular song. Everybody knows London Bridge. Did you see how I do that? So you just pluck the note where the dot is. See, that's all there is to it. That's an easy one to add to the classroom. And teachers who have zero musical experience at all can do this. Um, I kept this one out because um, I wanted to show you how I laminated it so that it wouldn't keep getting messed up because after after lots and lots of use by many children, they can get pretty well worn. So you wanna you wanna maybe laminate your music? I still need to do that too. It's on my list of things to do. All right, that is your lesson on auto harp.